Well, let's do part A. In part A, we need to find out the relativistic time interval, which it would take the neutron to disintegrate from the perspective of a stationary observer on Earth. So we need to find out delta t. Uh, delta t is the relativistic time. And in part b, in part b, we need to find out the distance which uh, the neutron would uh, traverse before uh, disintegrating. So in part b, we need to find out distance. Distance. All right, let's do part A. Well, we are given proper time, delta T naught, and delta T naught is equal to 1000 seconds. So the neutron takes uh, 1000 seconds to disintegrate, uh, which means that proper time is equal to 1000 seconds. Well, the speed of the neutron is also given. Uh, the speed of the neutron, V, is equal to um, 0 0.999 times uh, the speed of light. This is the speed of the neutron. And now we can find out the relativistic factor or the Lorentz factor, gamma. Gamma is equal to 1 divided by uh, square root of 1 minus v square divided by c square 1 minus v square divided by c square. Uh, let's plug in values. Uh, we have 1 divided by square root of 1 minus uh, 0 0.999 square. C square gets cancelled with C square. And hence, uh, Lorentz factor is equal to 22.37. 22.37. And we know that uh, the proper time and the relativistic time are related by the following equation uh, delta t delta t is equal to gamma times delta t naught and hence delta t which is the relativistic time is equal to gamma gamma is 22.37 multiply by delta t naught and delta t naught is 1000 seconds so relativistic time is equal to uh, 2 2 2 uh, 370 seconds 370 seconds delta t is equal to double 2 370 seconds all right and we can say that the neutron lives uh, longer, almost uh, 22.4 times its original, original lifetime from the perspective of observer on, on the Earth. Now let's do part B. In part B, we need to find out distance. Therefore, we use V is equal to D divided by T. And D is equal to V times T. And now D is equal to V have V. V equals 0 0.999 times the speed of light. And the time is uh, 22,370 uh, seconds. And multiplying the two numbers, we get 6.2. 6.70317 uh, 317 multiply by 10 to the power 12 meters 12 meters uh, here uh, c is equal to 
3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second. All right. So the particle cuts uh, a distance of 6.70. So it cuts a distance. D is equal to 6.70 multiply by 10 to the power 12 meter. And the distance between uh, Pluto and the sun is, uh, let's say it is uh, D prime. So D prime is the distance between the sun and the Pluto, which is 5.90 multiply by 10 to the power 12. And thus, uh, it is obvious that uh, D is greater than D prime. Here, D is greater than uh, D prime. So thus, the neutron is expected uh, to reach uh, a Pluto. So a neutron is expected to reach the Pluto because uh, D is greater than D prime. 